Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for function and graph. Given the function f and g are as follow, where we have the function of fx is equals to modulus of 1 over x, and the function of gx is equals to 2x minus 3. State the domain and range for the function f and g. Find the composite function for f and g, and sketch its graph. Kindly focus on the function fx is equal to modulus of 1 over x. So as we all know, for the situation for modulus, where we have the domain or real number. But kindly refers to the function, we notice that we have 1 over x. So the value of x is the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 0. Then the domain for f will be equal to negative infinity until 0 union 0 until infinity where the negative infinity 0 and infinity is not included so now kindly focus on the graph in order to find the range for the f so first i'm going to focus on the graph y is equals to 1 over x so where we have the reciprocal graph so kindly focus on the coefficient of x where we have the positive so the graph will be showing towards the right. So this will be the basic graph for the situation 1 over x. The asymptote will be y equals to 0 and x equals to 0. So this will be the basic graph for y equals to 1 over x. Next, y is equals to modulus of 1 over x x so meaning that we have to positive the situation especially on this part so meaning that we have to positive the situation so we have to flip the situation to this part so meaning that y equals to modulus of 1 over x our graph will be looking like this so where we have the y-axis and the x-axis then the horizontal asymptote still y equals to 0 and the vertical asymptote still equals to x equals to 0 so kindly refers to the graph so meaning that range for the f is equals to 0 until positive infinity because the lowest value would be 0 and the highest value will be positive infinity. So for the range, 0 until infinity, where 0 and infinity is not included. Next, kindly focus on the function gx, where we have the function 2x minus 3. So the domain for the function gx would be negative infinity until infinity. In order to find the range, what we have to do is to refer the graph. So now, by referring to the graph, where we have the straight line graph, where we have the m is 2, meaning that showing towards the right. And we have the y-intercept in negative 3. So basically, we have 1, 2, negative 3. So when x equals to 0, y will be negative 3. If y equals to 0, x will be equals to 3 over 2. Basically, we have 1, 2. So 1.5. So where we have the graph, gx is equals to 2x minus 3. Our range for g will be equals to negative infinity until infinity as well when the negative infinity and infinity is not included. So basically, that would be the domain and range for the function f and g. Next, what we have to do is to find the composite function for f rho g, then sketch the graph. So kindly focus on the composite function where we have f rho g. So meaning that, kindly substitute the function gx into the function fx. So where we will have modulus of 1 over 2x minus 3. 
So that will be the function for f rho g. Next, what we have to do is to sketch the graph. So first, what we have to do is to focus on the domain for f rho g. So kindly focus on the function and especially the denominator, where we have the situation 2x minus 3 cannot be equal to 0. So x cannot be equal to 3 over 2. So the domain for f rho g will be equal to negative infinity until 3 over 2 union 3 over 2 until infinity. Next, what we have to do is to find the intercept. When x equals to 0, y will be equals to 1 over negative 3. When y equals to 0, so the situation will be 0 equals to 1 over 2x minus 3. So the value of x is undefined. So now we are going to focus on the graph. So basically we have the first graph where we have y equals to 1 over 2x minus 3. So as we can see, when the situation is 1 over 2x minus 3, the domain would be negative infinity until 3 over 2, union 3 over 2 until infinity, where we have the asymptote 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So here we will have 1, 2. So basically 1.5 is located over here. So we have the vertical asymptote x equals to 3 over 2. Next is to focus the coefficient of x, where we have 2x, which is a positive, meaning that towards the right. So kindly refers to the situation where we have reciprocal function 1 over 2x minus 3. So meaning that the basic graph will be something like this. And pass by negative 1 over 3, the value of y. So where we have y equals to 0 as a horizontal asymptote and the vertical asymptote x equals to 3 over 2. So next part, what we have to do is y is equals to modulus of 1 over 2x minus 3. So meaning that we have to flip the situation. So kindly focus on this part. Since we have the modulus, so means that our graph will flip to this part. So meaning that our graph will still have x equals to 3 over 2. And the graph will be something like this. So the value of y will pass by y equals to 1 over 3. So basically, we have the y-axis and the x-axis, where we have the asymptote y equals to 0. So kindly focus on the c. State whether f rho g is 1 to 1 function or not. Give a reason for your answer. So kindly focus on the graph. The question asking whether the situation is one-to-one -one function or not. So by using the horizontal line test. So as we can see, we have two intersection points. So meaning that in here, not one-to-one -one function. So can we give the reason? Because it cuts more than one point. So D, state the possible domain for the f rho g so that it has an inverse. This means that the situation must be one to one. So the suggestion value will be negative infinity until 3 over 2, where 3 over 2 is not included. Or you may express your answer domain f rho g is equal to 3 over 2 until infinity, where the 3 over 2 is not included. Why we say 3 over 2? Because the asymptote is x equals to 3 over 2. E. 
sketch one of the possible graph for the function f rho g inverse and f rho g. So previously we already have the f rho g. So in order to become one to one or have the inverse function, so we have to pick only one domain. So in here, my suggestion would be 3 over 2 until positive infinity. So now we have the f rho g for the domain 3 over 2 until positive infinity. Then only we can say the f rho g is 1 to 1 and it has the inverse. So question E, sketch one of the possible graph for f rho g inverse. So meaning that the domain must be 3 over 2 until infinity where the domain is not included the 3 over 2. So here we have the situation for f rho g. So now we, what we have to do is to find the inverse for f rho g. So as we all know, we are going to use the reflection method. So in here, basically the green in color is the f rho g. So for the blue in color is the inverse for f rho g. So when we are using reflection, meaning that the value of x equals to 3 over 2, we will reflect and it will become y equals to 3 over 2. So here we will have y is equals to 3 over 2 for the horizontal asymptote. Next, we have to locate the y equals to x where we have the reflection axis. Name as y equals to x. So now we are going to sketch the inverse function for f rho g. So next part, kindly focus on the x-axis where we have the horizontal asymptote y equals to 0. So for in this case, again, we we'll reflect the situation and will become x equals to 0 will be the vertical asymptote. So the graph will be something like this. So that will be the graph for inverse of f rho g. As for the green in color, is the function for f rho g. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.